What's going on folks, it's your man Jay, and I want to talk about the Razer phone, the Sony uh, Xperia 10 devices, and the Nokia 9 PureView. So first off, the Razer is on sale for $4.99. I saw this days ago, uh, but the Razer isn't a phone that I'm, I'm interested in uh, at the moment, uh, but if that price comes down, I definitely probably would give it a go. The only reason I'm not interested in the Razer, because I'm not a gamer, uh, and... Um, you know, it's just, it's kind of one of those products that you know is for a specific market, and I'm not the target market. Uh, but it's a it's a it's a decent looking phone. It's just that um, the hype behind it uh, dies down real fast because gamers, a few people might buy it. I don't I don't even know or care how well it's selling. I just know it's 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 good to give you guys the info if you don't have it already. Uh, the phone is 4.99 on sale for a little bit, so go grab that now. <clears throat> Nokia. So the Nokia 9 PureView is a phone, if you haven't seen it, with this weird camera set up on the back with five 12 megapixel cameras. And then it's got a six inch quad HD display uh, with a um, 20 megapixel on the front. So it's, it's pretty much just an Android phone with a bunch of cameras on it as far as I see it. You know, there's not gonna be anything special about uh, this phone to uh, an Android user. Uh, and as far as photography goes, most people turn, like if you're on your phone, they turn to the Pixel, or they might turn to an iPhone f for some video. Uh, but other than that, you know, I, I hope that the Nokia phone does well. Uh, but I think we, we know by now, with, with Google creating the Pixel 3, that you don't need 10, 15 cameras to produce fantastic footage. So I don't really know who this target market is for this Nokia 9. But it looks like a sweet phone, man. It looks really awesome. Uh, I don't know how I feel again about those cameras on the back, um, but they're there. But the point of telling you about that phone is it's going on sale uh, on the 3rd of March. And they're already taking money off. It's supposed to be 700 bucks, but they have a special deal. They're already giving 100 bucks off everywhere they're selling. It's going to be a sale at B&H, Best Buy, and one other place. I forgot, but... Um, just look around. You'll, you'll see that phone is going to be $600 when it launches in two days. Now, why they're discounting the price like that right at launch, you can give promos and things like that. But I often wonder why Android phones frequently, like off the rip, they start discounting their phones before it even drops. And, and to me, it just sounds like they don't believe in their product. You know, if you're $700 for that Nokia phone, it probably is going to be a fantastic phone. I'm not saying that I want to pay $700, not even $600. I would prefer to pay like $99 or $200 for a phone and keep it for five years if I was in the market or I was a regular average consumer and not such a techie. But um, yeah, this phone is releasing for um, 600 bucks on its launch day. Uh, you know, it's got a Snapdragon 845, and maybe that's what it is. You know, I, I don't know. It's got a POLED display, a Snapdragon 845. You know, you get six gigs of RAM. And let me see how much memory is in this thing. 128. And you got no no SD card uh, slot. So it's, it's ultra with Pi. That's kind of, I don't know what their reasoning is. Man. It's got a 3320 million power battery inside. So the pricing to me, because, you know, if a person asks me, I'm going to say, no, grab a OnePlus 6T or grab a Galaxy Note 9. Because you can get a Galaxy Note 9 for 600 bucks now. And all the colors are available. You know what I'm saying? And this is due to the fact that the, the Galaxy S10 is dropping soon. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. You can grab a Galaxy Note 9 or t tons of other phones for $600 with a Snapdragon 845. And more RAM and more memory, uh, probably. You know, you just have to do your research. Or bigger batteries, you know? So, I would tell you... Uh, definitely do your research. I'm not saying don't get the Sony, don't get the um, the Nokia phone. I'm just saying I don't know what the reasoning is for bringing it out uh, this time of year around the same time that the Galaxy S10 is going to drop, uh, and then it's being sold. It's not on carriers. It's unlocked. This is just a t this is going to be a hard sale uh, period. It may be a fantastic phone too. Quality footage, everything. It might be fantastic, but. Consumers aren't going to know about it, you know what I'm saying, it, it, because they're going to go to their carrier to get phones. Most consumers go to their carriers to get phones, so uh, this is a strange one, but, I, you know, it's going to happen. So, uh, next up, obviously, the Galaxy, um, I was going to talk about the Sony, but I want to save that one for last, but I want to, the Galaxy S10s are dropping, uh, and, you know, they're going to be coming out in around this, just a little bit after this phone right here, uh, so it's kind of strange that, you know, 
Mm, I don't know Nokia. But the Galaxy S10 is dropping, uh, and the Galaxy S10 is actually on sale already. You can find the international version and buy it right now. You don't have to wait for the U.S. model. Uh, but and the, and the international model has better colors. You know, they've, they've got all the colors. You know what I'm saying? The U.S., they're limited to a certain amount of colors. The memory options are selective. You know, you just can't. They just chop it up for the, for the U.S. market. But it is what it is. So, you yeah, know, the Galaxy S10 is getting ready to drop at the same time as this Nokia is dropping. So, that's going to be a problem for Nokia. Now, Sony. <clears throat> Sony has the, uh, the 10 and the 10 Plus ready to go. So... Uh, you can pre-order them now. Let me go over here because I know they have them for pre-order at Best Buy. Uh, you can pre-order them now. Uh, let's see here. Sony. Because I was looking on there and I was like, wow. Okay. So the 10 and the 10 Plus are available. Now the 10 is only $349 and the Plus is only $429. And it releases on, about, on or around the 18th is the official release date, March 18th. Now, the only problem I see with these is that they're coming out a little too late. They don't need to launch around the same time as the Galaxy S10 because all the hype will be around that. Uh, but the Xperia 1, nowhere in sight uh, uh, that I've seen. But the Plus, uh, the 10 and the 10 Plus, they're obviously launching now. Some people are going to crap all over these phones uh, and say that they're overpriced or, you know, they're just not worth it. Uh, but personally, you guys know I'm a big Sony fan. If you don't know that, I'm a big Sony fan. Uh, and I like the design of these phones. Now, there'll be people that come out and say, oh, it's got the big bottom, or it's got the big top, and it should have just flattened it off. Ugh, man, whatever. Those phones have the new 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and that is why I'm excited to try them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something different. You know what I mean? So, of, of these two, you know, I, I probably just roll with the one for, for 350, the smaller one. And I'm calling it small, but it's got a 6-inch display. Uh, and the Plus has a 6.5-inch display. few differences in the processors, but they're still 600 series. Uh, so it's got a 636 in the big one, and the small one has a 630. And I'm anxious to try out the 630 because I don't really like the 636. That's another reason uh, that I'm not too keen on buying the, the Plus. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I really like the design of these phones, man. I mean, it's it's kind of like um, that Aqua Crystal phone where it's all, you know what I'm saying, it's... it's just a one piece and then all screen on the edges. So this is going to be exciting. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really curious to see how those are going to work. But there are plenty of phones that are releasing in, in March to keep the tech world going. But there's also plenty of phones out there uh, that are just still amazing. And, you know, you got to keep rolling. Like, I've been rolling with my OnePlus uh, 6T lately. It's just been good. It's, I mean, I've always liked this phone. You know, I changed the skin up, obviously, and I switched to the unlocked version from the T-Mobile version. So I'll briefly talk about that in this, this video right now. But the Sony phones are dropping. The S10s are dropping. Um, you know, Nokia's dropping. Uh, you know, something's got to give. We got to... I know you guys don't pick up all the tech like we do, but I will have some of these phones. So check the box. I've already bought them. Um, now... I switched to the unlocked version of the 6T. I didn't have, the only reason that I, I think, well, not the only one of the main reasons I switched was updates. Now, I don't have to have the latest updates, but I did realize that my T-Mobile version was was outdated. Like, it wasn't even up on the security patch for some reason. And I said, you know, I better sell this while I can, um, because I'm getting the credits for it anyway. It was paid for, so I'm getting the credits for it on my account for two years. So I'm getting a $10 credit for even having the phone. And I only paid, uh, what, $300 for it or something like that. So it's win-win. Uh, and I just took the money and bought this. You know, so, um, yeah, that's 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 what it is. Just switch to an unlocked version. And as soon as I took this out the box, update pops up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's, that's not nothing that's, you know. I just wanted to make sure I had uh, uh, an unlocked 6T. Because uh, it definitely is going to hold more value than um, the T-Mobile version, more than likely, because the T-Mobile version has a few lockdowns. Now, I don't root and do all that stuff, and I don't do that. But, however, if, in fact, I do want to sell this phone later and pick up the 7T or the 7, OnePlus 7, whatever, I'll get a little bit more money than I would get probably for the T-Mobile version because people don't want to deal with unlocking uh, and things like that. You know, And, and the T-Mobile version, when I unlocked it, I unlocked it. Uh, it, it was a it was a bit of a process where I just I called them and you know no I think I talked to them on Messenger 
And after about 20 minutes, you know, it was unlocked. That was fine. But just the process of going through that, you know, I don't buy very uh, very many carrier phones, uh, but that deal was just too good to give up. So anyway, unlocked, it's the same phone. I don't know, you know, why people would want to know that, but people kept asking me why I switched. And it's, it's not a good or a bad thing. I just decided, you know, if I want to get some future updates, I will do better with the unlocked version and I don't have to worry about T-Mobile uh, version, any kind of restrictions they have. Uh, and even, again, even though I don't root and do all that stuff, it's just a thing. A uh, decision I decided to make. So, anyway, it's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comments if you're picking up one of the Sony phones. I already know you guys are, we talked about the S10, but if you want to go ahead and tell me what model you got, that's fine. And the Nokia phone, you know what I'm saying? The Razer phone. Are you getting any of these phones? Uh, let me know. It's your man Jay. I'm out.